that is what probably you might have been used to right now let's try something that you might have been missing hello guys welcome to the studio today on the bitbender studio we're going to be talking about sample play and let's address that which you might have been missing out let's go All right, welcome back. Yes, still on Bitbender Studio. Um, let's take a quick peek at where you have your sample play. Then we'll talk about what exactly each of those um, features on sample play, what they actually represent, and then what is currently obtainable within, you know, if you load any drum kit or any program kit, and then what exactly you might be able to do with sample play. Um, so let's do that. Let me see. I think um, for us to start, um, I will just go ahead and load any kit. Let's go to browse. Um, let me check expansion slot. Just any, any, any kick, any back walk. Something simple. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this will work. Let's load this up. Yep. Go back to main. And this is what we have right here. Now, what I need you to understand is this, some of these particular um, uh, uh, pads, they are actually connected together by something we call a mute group. If you need to know more about mute group, I'll put a link here that you can actually use or probably in the description below, you can take a look at it to understand much more on how mute group works and how you can basically make good use of it. Now, by default, what some of this part comes with, or this drum kit comes with, is such that um, your open hat, yeah, okay, this is your open hat, this is the close one. These ones, they are basically, and most of the time, grouped together using the same mute group. And what mute group does it, it will tell you, you know what, if I play one and I play the other one, mute it. What you've been able to do is say, let me put my open hat and my closed hat in the same group such that when I play this, anytime I hit the closed hat, it will cut off the open hat. Right here, right now, you can actually play the open hat and see for yourself how long it takes, you know, to die out. And I kind of like to fade off. Listen, let me enable the full level so you could hear it properly. You see? Even from the bar, you can tell like actually basically just um, you know it fades out kind of like smooth more than more than a second. But immediately you press this and you tap the close art. That is what we're trying to do, making it look realistic, right? That is the game. That's the goal here to make it look realistic. Like normally when you open a hat, you're supposed to close it back, right? So this makes it achievable, more realistic, just like you you were playing like the drum set exactly now and this is made possible within the sample play right uh, sorry within the program edit so let me show you that if you go to your menu program edit here as you can see while i'm while this is um, actually active your mute group is one if i press part three mute group is one part two is off but eight mute group is one, which means any of these three, because they are together in the same mute group, they will cut each other off. And which is the goal. Now, that is achievable basically by putting everything onto note on, or maybe one shot, and then you enable mute group. You put them in the same mute group. That is what probably you might have been used to, right? Now, let's try something that you might have been missing. Let's say you are the one that's trying to put together your own kit. You know, this one was actually just like a drag and drop, some already made kit. Now you are setting up your own kit to do your own project. How do you achieve that? If you do not want to use this route, no, you know, okay, fine, you know what? I don't, I, I really want to be able to hold this like a lot more, or, you know, there might be some particular string, some particular, you might, you just want to hold it down a lot, a little longer than when you release it at the same time is when you want to another event to come in. That is what, what we're trying to discuss now comes, you know, that's when it comes to play. And that will be your note off. Now, this is sample play right here. 
this is sample play right and sample play basically it has three features one shot note off note on and um, note off was recent, recently introduced not long ago uh, but anyways now you have one shot which basically says when i strike this event just once you must play everything from start to finish that's one shot for you then note on means as long as i'm pressing and holding that particular event continue to play it the reason why it might not be effective for or you might not really notice that in drum kits is because these ones are already like mostly one shots like because they already have uh, when you trigger them they have they already have their length but if you are maybe doing synth or something like that note on might work better because as long as you are holding it it continues to sound when you take your hands off it it cuts off that's what note on does now what about this note off? Note off simply means when I press it, do not do anything. But as soon as I take my hands off it, do something. So let us try, let's start the first step, assuming you are the one that put together the whole of this kit, which means mute group will be off here, mute group will be off here, mute group will be off here. Now remember, this is one this is on note on. You want your aim, what you're trying to achieve is, you want when you play this, immediately you, this stops playing, or anytime you take your hands off it, that is when you want this to come in. So what you do is, you can simultaneously play this and this together. Right? Let's do that right now. So while, the, while you're on part four, you go to simultaneous play and say, when I press part four, simultaneously play part eight for me when i press the open heart simultaneously you know give me the closed heart as it is right now if i press the part four you will hear the closed heart let's go i don't know if you can hear that the two of them are actually playing together let me take let me i'll, I'll put it on something else that you'll be able to hear to know that actually it's working did you hear that's part nine you see it's so that means if you come back to it two of them are standing together right now but what, but the aim we're trying to achieve is give me part eight after i take my hands off this so as long as my hand is on this you are supposed to play but then do not let this one come out until i'm done play uh, i'm taking my hands off this but because you are doing simultaneous play, the trick there is you can come back to pad 8 and put it on note off. If you put pad 8 on note off, it means any event that is triggering pad 8 at a time, the pad 8 will not respond or react until that event has been disengaged. So now, if I come back to pad 4, did you see that? Do you hear that? So as I put my hands on it, it is only the open heart that plays. But the moment I take my hands off, you will hear the closed heart. And that's what we're trying to achieve, right? Like instead of you you're having to use mute groups, put this, then when this one plays, when this one starts, stop here. Mute group works. It does its own thing. But there are sometimes you might just wish to play around with something. And you know what? Ah, when I take my hands off this particular, you know, synth or beats or drum i want something else to trigger but it has to trigger at the exact moment when i take my hands off instead of me to play it by myself so you set that particular one note off then you set the action you want to trigger it note on then you put simultaneous play into that particular uh, uh pad do you get so that's basically how this works and you know i know a lot of you might have been using your mute group but this is something that probably you might have been missing i just said let me share with you so that you can give it a try you know and it might just make your work a lot easier so now instead of me if i'm finger drumming now instead of me to go one two like i want to do three and four instead of me to do that right to work with the four i can easily just do three and i know that anytime i take my hands off this part four Part 8 is engaged. So let me try say something like... Uh... <laughs> then 
there you have it what you might have been missing in your sample play just give it a try then let me know what the outcome is that'll be all for now don't forget to like subscribe share and we'll see you in the next one